Grade 8 math number 7.1b, write a situation from an equation with the variable on both sides. It's the opposite of what we did in the last video. And equations with the variable on both sides can be used to compare prices or costs of real life situations. And to solve these equations, we use inverse operations to get the variable terms to one side of the equation. So the variable term is like the 3x here. And a constant term would be like just a flat number that's being added or subtracted. You remember that the 3 in front of the x is a coefficient, and that's the variable. See, just like this 8 is the coefficient and the y is the variable. If the 3 were by itself, it would just be a standalone number. See, if this 8 were by itself, he would just be a plain old number. Okay, but as long as they've got the variable next to them, they're a coefficient, and they're multiplied to the variable. Right? All right, in the last video, we wrote an equation with the same variable on both sides of the equal sign from a situation. Now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to write a possible situation from a given equation. So here's our equation. We've got 150 plus 25x equals 55x. You can see on the left side consists of a constant, that's the 150, plus a variable term, that's the 25x. It could represent a deposit and an hourly charge, couldn't it, for X hours. It could be the fee to rent a cabin plus $25 for each day. Maybe it could even be a tool rental, like to dig a hole, like um, some kind of machine plus a $25 a day fee, right? The right side of the equation has the variable term 55X. This could represent the same fee, but maybe as a daily charge or an hourly charge. The equation could represent the cost of staying in a hotel for 150 plus 25 per day, or maybe it's $150 plus 25 per person, or just paying $55 per day at another hotel. We can figure out how many days it would take for the fees to be the same. We just use inverse operations. We see that this has got a 25x and that's got a 55x. We take the smaller one away from the larger one. Not always, but usually we could do that. And this 25x minus 25x creates a zero pair and cancels it out. So now we've got 150 equals 55x minus 25x is 30x. We've got 150 equals 30x. Now we can just divide both sides by 30 to isolate this x to one side. And 30 divided by 30, the numerator and denominator are the same, so it makes our friend the invisible 1. And 150 divided by 30 is the same as 15 divided by 3. See it? That'd be 5. We got 5x. It would take 5 days, and the fees would be the same. Okay? Now, if you're really, really confused, you need to go back and watch videos 6.2a, 6.2b, and 6.2c in last year's portfolio profile um, video list for grade 7 math. This is grade 8 math. And if you didn't catch all of this stuff with the variables and using inverse operations, then you need to go back to the grade 7 math playlist, okay, and watch these three videos. This 6.2b will explain about the invisible one. That's really important, okay? All right, we're going to continue on, and we're going to talk about writing equations from descriptions, from just like a short sentence description seeing if we can write an equation from that, okay? And that'll be 7.1c. I hope this was helpful. I'm trying. And keep your chin up. We're slowly getting through this. This entire chapter is on solving linear equations, chapter 7. And I'll see you in the next video, 7.1c. Bye.